Welcome back, guys. Today we're gonna take a look at my theory crafted last beta build that I was, uh, you know, thinking about because I was level 60 there and I was having too much time on my hands. That was theory crafting a new build that would utilize a hatchet and an ice gauntlet, actually. So in the following video, I'll try to showcase what is possible with this build and how to set it up. Keep in mind, this is mainly a high-end, like endgame PvP build. It's not gonna be super viable for leveling. You probably can still do that, but again like it's not gonna be super viable so with that being said um let's jump right into it uh, first of all the constitution all of the thresholds that we have here are super important um especially the last one also really nice for cc which you know as a slow ice gauntlet and hatchet root user this is quite useful on top of the weight uh, threshold bonus as well so your roots and slows will be really long on top of that, the intelligence obviously scales both of your weapons because we will be running a intelligence conversion gem on the hatchet. Hatchet talent tree is straightforward. Berserking, we go the, all, all the way. The movement seed, the healing is actually based off your max health. So the more health you have, the more this heals. Meaning it, since we have 300 constitution, this is really great. Against all odds, if there's more people, you do more damage. Fortifying strikes, you gain fortify if you hit someone three times with the same light attack. And Rage Strikes is also a no-brainer, and also full Feral Rush for the bonus route and the movement. By the way, this staggers as well. On top of that, Defy Death, which is one of the more crucial points of this build, because this enables us to be, well, unkillable for three seconds, if we would actually, you know, die. Um, in, co in conjunction with Ice Gauntlet, this is actually incredible, because this allows you to swap to Hatchet, even if you're not currently using it, and just having a defy death option which in which those three seconds you can use health potions and so on to get yourself back up on top of that in the throwing tree we get the crit we get stamina points we get the full infected throw line and exploitation which is basically just a flat 50 percent damage bonus because we will have a lot of debuffs and you know in large scale fights not only you apply debuffs so this is a great little node Next up is the Ice Gauntlet. We go all into all of the passives on this tree, including Ultimate Chill, which actually does scale your hatchet damage as well. Although um, you will not get so much use out of that interaction because if you apply Ultimate Chill to a target and then swap weapons, it doesn't get reapplied, so you only have three seconds, which is like a swing or two. But this is still nice to have, and even if you're just using Ice Gauntlet in a lot of range situations, this is still really useful. Uh, full Ice Storm, Full Ice Shower, and one of the best abilities in the game, Entombed, which is basically an Ice Block. Um, keep in mind, you can also press L and B in this, and you can knock people away from you when you, ent uh, when you exit it. Um, this, in combination with your Defy Death node from the Hatchet Tree, makes you, well, almost unkillable, because you have two ways to become invincible for a few moments. Um... <clears throat> Now I'll show you really quickly what this gem looks like. This is the gem you will run on your hatchet to convert 50% of your damage into ice damage and scale the damage off of intelligence, which is, uh, which is amazing because we have a lot of intelligence and the ice damage can also be scaled, as I said before, with ultimate chill. Um, obviously other people can apply ultimate chill as well, it doesn't have to be you necessarily. Uh, on top of that, there is another gem, obviously, on the, on the other weapon that you want to run, which is a Malachite, uh, which is here in this version, a Cruel 4, uh, which just straight up gives you 12% more damage against crowd control targets, and we crowd control a lot, so this is quite useful. And that is all you really need to know for now. So, TLDR, full heavy armor, ice gauntlet, plus hatchet, Intelligence conversion gem on the hatchet and spec into everything that gives you more health and intelligence, I guess. Um, 300 constitution, again, 150 intelligence is really nice. With this build, you have so many different options to approach fights and to defend yourself, even against multiple targets, um, that uh, you know you will basically be unkillable in a lot of situations and your damage output will still be quite good. Um, keep in mind to always have health potions with you as those will save you well, a lot of times, especially after you defy death procs and you have three seconds to chug one. So keep that in mind as always. Um, on top of that, obviously, 
I could only test these new changes, especially to the Ice Gauntlet with the ultimate chill and so on um, in the recent open beta. Obviously, all of these things are subject to change. They may rebalance things before launch, they may not. Um, if they do so, I will let you guys know in the comments below. If you have any further questions, please uh, let me know below as well. And well, see you guys in the tournament. Peace.